Did you have a great Thanksgiving day? Yes, I hope all of you have a wonderful time with families and friends. It is always great to eat delicious food with people whom we love. I don't have any relatives or family in the U.S. Uh, I just have my husband and children here. But this Thanksgiving, I invited a couple of my friends in my house, and I had a great time with them sharing delicious food. It was great, and I once again realized that a common truth that it is more delicious to eat together than to eat alone. And I thank God to be able to have such a wonderful time with them. We want to keep this holiday with full of thankfulness. But unfortunately, we know that it is not always easy. I read some news about Black Friday incidents happened all over the United States. One of the news was about a guy who was shot and dead in New Jersey last Friday early morning. This precious holiday turned out to be a tragedy for the family who lost their loved one. They never expected that might be happened to their child. And it is so sad that people are fighting each other for the Black Friday sale item. Isn't it ridiculous? As I said last week, Thanksgiving Sunday was the last Sunday of the church calendar. Today is the first Advent Sunday, which means the beginning of a new season. Do you know the meaning of Advent? The word Advent came from Latin. Ad means to. And vent, originally veneer, means come. Ad veneer became advent later, which means to come. Therefore, this season of advent is the season of waiting for Jesus to come. As soon as Thanksgiving season ends, or even earlier, right after the Halloween season ends, all stores and towns change their decoration with the theme of Christmas. In this season of Advent, all people in the world wait for the Christmas. Who will be the most happy ones to wait for the Christmas during Advent season? Without question, it will be children. All children wait for Christmas. Why? Yeah. Are they waiting for baby Jesus so badly? <laughs> they are waiting for their Gift. Yes, I got a list. <laughs> Christmas is a big holiday as so many people celebrate it by exchanging gifts, having parties. We can see people with big smiles in this Christmas season. And also Christmas is considered as a beginning of Christianity, which means Jesus' birth. Then how are we supposed to have this Advent season are we waiting for Christmas? Are we waiting for baby Jesus' birth? Yes, we are. We are waiting for baby Jesus who came to the earth over 2,000 years ago, lived, died, and resurrected from death for us. However, today's scripture is telling us more than that. Advent is not only for the beginning, but also for something that is the last. Today's scripture start with verse 36. But nobody knows when that day or hour will come. Not the heavenly angels and not the Son. Only the Father knows. The day and hour in this verse means the last day. As the Israelites waited for the Messiah for the long period of time in the Old Testament, people in the New Testament also waited for the return of Christ after Jesus' ascendance. Then when will it be? According to the scripture, no one knows, but only God knows the day. The day will come unexpectedly. If we know the time, we could be ready but we do not know when it will be. Let me share a funny story. 
when I was about four or five years old, a big feast was supposed to be held in my house. I cannot remember what the feast was for, but my family was expecting many guests. My grandmother made a soup in a big pot, and, and my mother was putting the soup in the little bowls. And she put them on the wooden floors in the living room in my house. I remember that bowls with hot soup almost covered the whole floor in the living room. Then all of a sudden, an idea came across to my mind. I could jump over all those soup bowls. The bowls were made of stainless steel, and each bowl was filled with hot soup. My grandmother and my mother never expected what I was thinking about. Can you guess what had happened next? Yes, I jumped as far as I could, but I failed to jump all over the hot balls. I stuck in the middle of the balls and got serious burn on my left leg. My mom had to run to ER by holding me. I did not remember how the feast went because I was in the hospital, but I was sure that my grandmother might have to make more soups. So I spilled lots of balls. The scar on my leg is almost gone, but I remember it had been there until I graduated elementary school. Some of my friends asked me, what happened on your leg? Seeing the scar on it. Things happen unexpectedly. I believe that you had a similar experience. Some things came up to your life suddenly without notice. The last day will come like that. We never know. It will come suddenly. As the scripture tells about the Noah's Ark and the flood, no one knew the day. That is why people in Noah's time were drinking, eating, marrying, and giving in marriage, as verse 38 says. They never knew that it was their last day. They were not ready for it, and it just came to them without notice. This season of Advent is telling us we need to wait not only for baby Jesus' birth, but also for the last day of the world that will come to us unexpectedly. We knew that baby Jesus was born for all people. For every season of Christmas, people decorate their houses and yards with Christmas trees, adornments, and nativity figures. Churches are preparing a special event celebrating the birth of the Jesus, baby Jesus on Christmas Day. That is great. But that is not all about this Advent season. As we celebrate this season of Advent, we also need to be ready for the day that we will meet Jesus in the kingdom of heaven. That is the first, this is first week of the entire year of the church calendar. Also, this is the last season of 2016, as we have only one page of calendar left on the wall. As I mentioned earlier, this world is full of sin. There are so many terrible things going on. People are hurting each other, kill someone for ridiculous reason. The parents of crimes are getting complicated, more creative, more various, and churches in this world have to be deal with more problems than the past. This kind of situation is similar to the situation that Israelite had at the time of the end of the Old Testament. Their life was miserable, captivated by Babylonia. New generations did not know God, not wanting to follow their ancestors' path, they did not want to know who they were following the Babylonian's culture, which was considered as sin. In the midst of sin, in the midst of this time of confusion and, and hardship, the Israelites were waiting and hoping for the coming of the Messiah. Israel looked back on the past when God delivered them with his mighty and yet gracious hand out of Egypt. 
and the Exodus. And they called for God once again to save them out of the hardship that they faced. At the same time, in this season of Advent, we think of the past, when Christ was born and his life. And at the same time, we are looking forward to the coming of Christ, the kingdom, when he returns for us. In this way, the Advent hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, perfectly represents the church's cry during the Advent season. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lone exile here until the Son of God appears. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Israel. Verse 42 through 44 says that, therefore stay alert. You don't know what day the Lord is coming. But you understand that if the head of the house knew at what time the thief would come, he would keep alert and wouldn't allow the thief to break into his house. Therefore, you also should be prepared because the human one will come at a time you don't know. We live in an unpredictable world that when Israelites were wandering in the wilderness, waiting for entering to the land of honey and milk, they had a hard time that they did not know when it would end. They felt like hopeless. And all they could do was to cry out to God for help. Advent is like to live in the wilderness, which is between what had happened and what will be happened. Jesus came to the earth 2,000 years ago to save people and will come back to the earth someday to save all of us. We have faith that we will be with Jesus in heaven someday and that faith is based upon Jesus Christ who came to the earth 2,000 years ago. Our life, a lot of times, is not happy. We suffer from financial issues, broken relationships, health problems, and emotional conflicts. We are experiencing tension and stress in our home and works. However, we remember God's promises. We have faith in God. We have faith that Jesus will come again to us to save us for all the troubles, from all the troubles. But remembering God's promise and having faith in God are not enough. We should go forward, making our faith alive and awake. Today's scripture is telling us that at that time, there will be two men in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the meal. One will be taken and the other left. Who will be taken and who will be left, we do not know. But one thing is clear, nobody wants to be left. Therefore, we should watch. We should be awake. As we live the world of full of evil, we should be the watchman of this world. What is the watchman's job? Yes, stay awake during nighttime so no one break the window. If the watchman sleep and have a sweet dream at night, it is seen as he is not doing his duty. Watchman should be awake all the time to protect the place where he is. Therefore, we should be a watchman of where we are. Jesus said, we are light and salt. Although this world is full of evils, when we hold the light of Jesus and shine it, people will learn that God is still alive and with us. As we celebrate the first week of Advent, I want you to watch the promised land God will invite all of us and be ready to enter it by holding your faith in God. Our baby Jesus came to this darkened world to save all of us. Therefore, it is time to wait for baby Jesus 
and also time to wait for the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. God of heaven and earth, thank you for giving us hope through Jesus Christ, our Savior. We want to shine your light in this darkened world. Let us hold our faith in you and be ready to go forward to the promised land. Let us watch and awake for the day of the Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.